putting aside what makes a good story, what makes a good writer? You know, like, is there a way to actually judge how good a writer, a storyteller is? Because there's lots of different skills involved in being a writer, in being a storyteller. There's coming up with the ideas, but then there's different types of great ideas. Meaningful, powerful, fun, scary ideas. How many of those different great ideas do you need to be a good writer? If you can add all of those things into a story, is that everything you need? Well, there's the ideas, but then there's also how the story is actually structured, like how you organise it. And that's very important too, because it has to make sense. Everything has to flow. There has to be a start to be able to put backstories in the right place or put flashbacks in the right place, set the scene at the right time. You know, and it's good to be able to pace it properly. But as far as I know, it's a matter of personal judgment on how well someone can pace a story event or how well a person can organise the details and the information that you put into a story. So we've got so far the ideas, like the, the power, let's call them the power of the ideas that you can create, like the, the amount of impact that it can have on someone. But then you've got the way in which you organise the story which would be the pacing and the flow and the way that you structure it. A combination of those two is a good start to measuring how good you are of a story writer, especially in a professional context. This next bit gets interesting because what about how good are you at editing or how good are you at producing the story? You know, how good are you at telling the story in whatever medium you can tell it? You know, how important is that? Because of course, if you are, say, a writer and you want to get a professional job or you're hiring, for example, or you just want your own way of measuring your own skills, should you factor in your ability to actually produce the story? So... This is a reminder. Look for my glasses. So should you actually factor in your ability to, say, edit if you're writing a novel? I know some people who, like, for example, Diane, quotidian writer, um, besides the sorts of stories that she tells, the way that she edits the stories is clean. It's very clean. I can't really do that myself, but something I can do is I can produce my stories pretty well. So I've got a background in audio production, so I can produce audio dramas, but let's say five, ten years ago, when I didn't have that experience, would I factor in my ability to produce my story in how good I was as a story maker? I would say it depends. Are you creating a story because you're the one that's going to tell it? Or are you creating a story because someone else is going to tell it? For example, you're writing for a production company who's going to end up making your story into a film or an audio drama or a book. I would say this is the point where we separate it and we judge it separately on your ability to be a story maker, to create very interesting or very powerful ideas, which other people may not be able to do, and your ability to, you know, organise it in a good way so that the story is structured and paced in a good way. And that's the story making. So you can judge that separately to the story telling. How good are you at being a storyteller? Can you produce your work? Can you do it cleanly and high quality? You know, are you just drawing little cartoon figures or are you drawing really good art? Can you edit your story very well or do you need someone else to do it? Because then the story that you're telling is being edited and refined by someone who can clean it up a little bit and make that story that you're telling just a little bit cleaner in the novel that you create. But the story itself is one that you've structured and one that you've created. What makes a good writer, and let's say, you know, if you're hiring um, or you're applying for a professional position, which aspects do you actually need to be judged on? Which is it correct to be judged on? And I would say, I want to know your thoughts. I, I would say, I would say, you can factor in both of them, but I would say that what's most important is the story making process. How good are they at making a story? Which is how good are they at creating very impactful ideas. 
whether it's scary or funny or meaningful or whatever, and how good are they at organising and pacing the story. That's far more rare and far more important than someone's ability to tell the story in a good way, like produce it, clean it up. You can get someone else to do that. It's, it's almost the difference between, you know, how good are you at finding diamonds versus how good are you at cleaning it up and shaping it into a nice diamond. They're both pretty important, but if you're hiring or if you're applying for a position, I think you should be judged on how good are you at finding the gem itself. There is actually one more thing, something I didn't think about. I think something which really is the icing on the cake in how you judge or measure whether someone is a good, well, quality writer, story writer, and that would be passion. You're going to get someone who has far more mileage in the sort of stories that they create if they are very passionate about it. I'm Joe Webb, a storyteller, the storyteller. See you next time.